morning guys. Yo. And happy Thursday. Oh, highlight is on point today. Um, technically a little bit late this morning. Um, and the reason for that is, uh, it's Jenna Marble's fault. I said that I'm Jenna Marbles. <laughs> it's Jenna Marbles. Yeah, it's time to get up. Yeah, in a minute. I was watching this video. <laughs> How long's the video? Um, 37 minutes. Basically, Jenna Marbles has put up a video this morning. Um, she's got herself a rescue greyhound. Um, and I had to watch it. There's been no no secret with us that we we, we are likers of hounds. Oh, we babe. Yeah. Um, if you've been with us for a very long time, you may remember we actually did go start the process of, of adopting a greyhound at one point a few years ago, didn't we? Yeah. Um, we went to a rescue centre. We walked a couple of dogs. Yeah, um, they, well. they, they kind of pre-approved these two female rescue hounds, and they basically said, um, "Bring Darwin, uh, and he will pick." Who you're getting type thing and um sorry roundabout and uh, we did that and we took darwin and uh those we molested we... them both <gasps> no don't say that it was they hump them both of them it didn't go well now darwin is a neutered male so he can't get them pregnant um but he knew what he was doing but he knew what he was doing and basically um, I still like to think it was a dominance thing because he was smaller than both of these female greyhounds. Um, but yeah, so our, we did some research and everything kind of online recommended we get either a small dog or, or a puppy. Um, and I didn't want to get, so yeah, that's how we ended. <laughs> then Do Jordan found Gilly online. I was on the paper, in the newspaper, in the newspaper very old school, um, and that's how we ended up with Gilly, but originally we were going to have a rescue greyhound, and I'd like to say, I'm not, we'll have one one day, we'll have one one day, obviously our house is too small for three yeah, no, hound sized dogs, we could definitely fit an Italian greyhound in no, our we house, they're, they're havoc, we yeah. couldn't, we couldn't, we could um, fit one. We could fit we could one. Cope with one. Or we could definitely fit a sausage dog in our house. No, not happening. But not having a third dog. No. We, well, we will one day. Well, yeah, but not now. But not in our current house. It's basically the adult decision we've made. But yeah, still didn't stop me spending 37 minutes. What? What? 37 minutes watching a greyhound video, and it's like, oh, she's called Bunny. She's beautiful, and I want one. But I really like the fact that Jenna Marbles was showing the, the good and the bad. It could have very easily become a very soppy montage. Um, oh, of, I got a new dog. Yeah. And it wasn't. And it wasn't. It was showing the hard work and it was showing the rescue dog of the greyhound in its muzzle. And she was very honest about it growling at Kermit. And I just think that's really impressive that when you show the hard side of a rescue dog. Darwin was a rescue dog. That was a lot of work. Anyway could talk about this for like 25 minutes but I shan't. Uh, we're on the way to work, John's got the day off so we're going to go for breakfast. <laughs> stroked another dog which was a golden retriever crossed with a lurcher it right. just looked like a really fat greyhound with right. a bit of a longer coat Interesting. yeah I've never seen that cross before it was beautiful but yeah I've had a good day in the world of I like to stroke other people's dogs that's a good day for me but yeah we're going to Sainsbury's hey guys I mean we're home and my house smells lovely John's washed a load of towels today and my whole house smells of comfort 
um, what's the comfort I use? The nice blue one, not blue skies. Lenore. Lenore Spring Awakening, that's what I've got. My whole house smells of it because he's washed a load of towels. But yeah, I thought I'd show you what we got from Sainsbury's because obviously we bought more than pop. So yes, mini Sainsbury's haul. Uh, we've got two bottles of Diet Pepsi Caffeine Free. We've drunk a lot of pop uh, recently. Mostly because we were at home all day on Bank Holiday Monday, I reckon. Uh, but yeah, two bottles of that. They had vanilla donuts, reduced to 29p. It's like, of course I had to buy that. John picked up some of his beloved Biltong. He got this brand. And he also got this brand. It's Gilly. <laughs> um, and then we got this. Um, the Creator's Pork Puffs. Um, I'm not... I think it's like salt and vinegar pork crackling which i won't be eating but john likes it so yeah that's for him and then i these are my bargains obviously this is my bargain but these little notepaddy thingies they are a day in the life weekly desk planner kind of like them it says be unique these were reduced to 30p each so i got two but yeah that is what we bought from sainsbury's and it's tea time and I made a bit of a mess dishing it. So tonight we've got lasagna. Um, it really didn't want to come out of the container. Um, garlic bread and peas. It looks a mess, but I'm sure it will taste fine. Hey guys. So, as by magic, there's a belly. You're so beautiful. So beautiful and elegant. Um, yeah, so we watched a movie this evening uh, called Peppermint. I've wanted to watch it. I think it came out early 2018. I've wanted to watch it since I first saw the trailer. Um, I really rate it. And John enjoyed it, didn't you? Mm. Um, but John was just telling me that it actually had bad reviews. Um, I liked it. Little bit gory, but good. I don't mind a bit of gore. John doesn't normally like gory, do you? No. But we both enjoyed it. It was a bit kick-ass. Um, yeah, that's what we've been doing. Um, I've had a few messages about I said a couple of vlogs ago, ugh, a couple of vlogs ago uh, that I had a job interview, and I've had a lot of messages, and I don't really have. A whole lot of time to talk about it but the short version is i went for a job interview with a housing association i said in the vlog when i talked about it i didn't really want to leave where i was but it was what looked like a very good opportunity um basically the job was for something that i already do or a slim aspect of my current job but I'd be doing this one aspect of my current job all day. So yeah, I had the interview, um, brand spanking new building, amazing computer system, far better than what I've got where I work. Um, they had us do an IT test and they had us do um, like a creative thing where we got into teams and stuff. And yeah, and then we sat with uh the team we'd be working with for a bit and see what they did and then we had an interview um and i kind of came out of the interview and i said to john i don't think i want the job not because that it was a bad company and i say the building that it was based in was all it's like literally i think it uh, like they had it built especially for them it opened like january this year they've been there a few months they had one of those magic taps where you pressed a button and, and a cup of tea water, like boiling water came out. So you didn't have to boil a kettle. It was very modern. Um, but yeah, I came out of the interview and I kind of said to John, uh, I think I would be bored just doing that one aspect of my job over and over again. Or that one aspect of my current job over and over again. Um, they made me an offer and I didn't accept it. But it did give me the confidence to talk to my current boss um 
and I told him, I'm completely honest with him, um, you know, there's been a few tears at work of lately, and uh, I told him about the interview and told him everything, and changes are being put in place, improvements are being put in place, um, so all in all, a very good experience. Um, yeah, I'm not saying I'm going to stay with my current job forever, but if, you know, current changes look good, I'm also saying I would never, I'm not saying I would never work for that housing association because that looked good too, but just that role wasn't suited for me. But yeah, that's kind of that ramble. I'm going to go to bed now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.